Hello everybody, time for a new shave. Today it's a tag video. But first, let's have a Shevrich Heineken uh, here. Put the cap and whatever you call it. Cheers. I think I need that really much. I'm going to show you the product first and then I'm going to talk about this tag video. Power new stick. I haven't used this for a long time. I can explain why I use that. Hega. It's the only thing I've been using for a long time. And now it's time for new stuff. This Mercury uh, Puration 500. I think it's pronounced right. <laughs> uh, Gives from Gordon Christie. Really awesome, not just a razor. I'm going to use a Wilkinson. Right way. Jet Wilkinson sword. Uh, second use. And the brush is this Omega brush, a blow brush, big, really hefty, nice uh, brush. Sorry, <laughs> just gonna load this. It's a two piece, screw that so that the top plate loses. Just lift that up, take the blade without cutting yourself, of course, and <clears throat> fill it with it a little bit. Put it over the pole star, like this, so they are fitted there, then take, I usually hold it like this, take the rest of the eraser, oh, one thing I have to check, there is the dot, there's a mark on that side, um, side to my, and there is a small triangle on that side, and those two should line up. And then I just press a little bit, I start to screw, and I screw it to the bottom. Then I have to have my glasses on, sorry. <coughs> because this is an adjustable razor. There is a small, small, small marker there. And I know you can't see it, but there is some numbers there. Start with, when I screw it, it's a plus. Then go one, two, three, and a half. So I put the razor on three and a half. You may be, you can see the four there and three there. So I think three and a half should work great for me. And this alien looking uh, head, I like it very much. It's really awesome. It's a gift from Orion, uh, from, uh, from Gordon Christie. Sorry. Cheers. Really, really nice. So let's start. Palm of the stick. Why do I use this? This tag video, as you can see on the description, is a tag that I've been tagged from uh, IMCDB. Thank you so much for the tag. <coughs> Just gonna rub this to my face and try to get out some soap. Uh, it's a tag video uh, where I talk about how, why I do this shave, traditional wet shaving and uh, so on. Uh, I think it's an interesting story everyone has heard, not so many yet, but it's always interesting to hear why people do these traditional shaves. Um, wet shaving can be very is it the right word versatile? Very different from people, what stuff they use and so on. Um, but in my opinion, traditional wet shaving is when you have a soap like this, an artisan soap or some other soap you use that is, what do you say, constructed or <laughs> soap that is made for shaving and you use a brush and then if you use a straight razor chevette uh, or a D razor, it doesn't matter, even a cottage razor. But if you use soap made for uh, shaving with and uh, a brush and something to cut that whiskers off, in my opinion, that's wet shaving, traditional wet shaving will be. Of course, 
people don't always agree with that because if you use a cartridge you're not a wet shaver not in my opinion you are at least a wet shaver come maybe not the traditional but you're still a wet shaver uh, before i started to use all these things i use an electric eraser i think it was a brown or Phil not philips oh, it's one brown one philips uh, <coughs> i upgraded after a while <coughs> to philip uh, Philips or whatever you say, and uh, I used that each and other day while I was sitting on the loo and doing other things. I don't going to mention it, but you know, I don't know what you do on the loo when you sitting down thinking. <laughs> but I grabbed that electric eraser and do the things you do on the toilet, and. Um, I never felt that it was a fun thing to do, I just did it because I don't want to have too much hair on my face. And several years ago I started to sometimes uh, buy, bought these gels from Gillette. I think it was a Gillette sensitive gel or something like that, I don't remember it, so many years ago. Bought that and used cartridge razors and thought those shades are much, much more closer. Kept on doing that for maybe a couple of weeks. And then stopped to doing it because it, it was not fun. <laughs> there was nothing fun with that, in my opinion. Thought it would be more fun when you use the cartridge razor and that gel. And uh, somehow I always was thinking about, I want to do different things when I'm shaving. So I started to look, I think this is maybe five years ago or something, uh, at wet shaving things. Uh, looking at straight razors and when I looked at these straight razors I just was thinking that's something I actually want to try. <laughs> And I didn't do anything more than that, just was thinking about it and uh, time went by. Half a year later, I started to look even more after these straight razors and found some cheap gold dollars. I was thinking maybe to buy from, what do we call it, uh, called Wish from China. And uh, it was time, it was in the autumn, and uh, then I didn't do anything more. And suddenly, I think it was a, if it wasn't a birthday present, it was at least a gift from my daughter. She had snapped out that I was looking for straight races. So she bought actually my first straight race. It was a, a gold dollar uh, 508, still have it. <coughs> and that was the thing that started my journey of wet shaving. I started to look for more information, of course. I tried to use that straight razor, but I couldn't use it. it was, it was, uh, you, you can't shave with a straight razor if it's not honed properly. I know it now. Uh, so I... went to a barber shop in, here in Sweden. I started looking for more soaps and so on. Uh, I had bought this Palmoli soap stick and start use that and I bought a cheap Sevette and that was something I thought wow this is this is awesome and I bought some other soaps and suddenly I could what can I say do my own 
ladder like I wanted. If I wanted wet or if I wanted dry, I could manipulate that as much as I want. It took a while before I learned to do it, but I realized that I have possibilities. I have a, I had a cheap ball brush, so on, but still it worked. Now I'm gonna change this to, oh, sorry. I have to use that. I can see these small numbers here. It was three and a half now. I'm gonna tweak it to two because I don't want, I have changed so much these days, so <laughs> I'm almost getting irritated, not really, but I don't want to irritate the skin more than necessary. Yeah, then it suddenly start to seeing these things that different soaps and I can do every different kind of ladder. I can do that with a can soap and so on. <clears throat> and these scents that I could feel and so on. And that just started to wake my interest to wet shaving more and more. And I started to enjoy these shaves very much. Of course, it took a while before I get the hang of this technique, but when I managed, managed that, it was just a GPE right? <laughs> and uh, I'm still enjoying every shave. I started with Chevetta and straight racers, then I mainly used straight racers, and then Chevettas, and now I use D racers, and that's Another thing with this community, I started to do YouTube videos and so on. Uh, so the reason I think I thought it was much more funnier to shave and have much more uh, control over what I'm doing when I'm shaving with a ladder and so on, uh, and the shaves get much more interesting to do. That's the reason. One of the reasons I kept on doing this traditional wet shave, and then I started to learn. To, uh, start to. What do you say? Uh, meet people. Uh, nerdy people like Frank Strunberg, Dave Card, and so on. Call Keeper, a lot of other people in this Virginian community. And start learning what they are doing and how they do, and learn and listen. So, that community is one big thing that made made me keep on doing this. There was no one to tell me, told me ever, ever, ever that you're doing something wrong or you're doing something you shouldn't do this or shouldn't do that. Everybody says I do it like this and it works for me. Uh, try these types of soaps because they smell like this and so on. And now I have too many soaps and too many races, too many straight races. I have so lot of things, so it just grew on me. And I think it's really fun, really, really fun to meet all these people. I met people all over the world, uh, communicating with them every week in different ways. And there is a lot of people that isn't on the community anymore because of their lives, different things happen and so on, but still there is so much people that uh, enjoying this and there is more and more people coming in. And I try to do whatever I want, whatever I can to help people without telling them, that, because there is nothing that's right or wrong in wet in my opinion, as long as you can as you say, I did like this, is that some people, oh, you shouldn't do that, you know, badger brush costs lots of money, okay? I don't have a badger, it's a ball brush, and if I had a badger brush, I can do it, because it's my stuff, I do it my way. Is that right or wrong? I don't know, I don't think so. As long as it works, I got the ladder out of the brush and onto my face. So there is nothing wrong or right. There will never be some nothing wrong or right. As long as you don't cut yourself um, or do other things that you harm yourself. As long as you get rid of your whiskers 
and that's the reason, only reason to shave because it could, the primary reason to get rid of the whiskers. And if you can enjoy that ride, why don't, in my opinion, enjoy it as much as you can. So my, in my opinion, this community is really awesome. As I told you, learned lots of things from people in this community. I have become friends with lots of people all over the world that I would never ever met otherwise. And this community is so fucking awesome. Uh, it's getting impact in my private life. If I get sick, I don't do video for a couple of days or weeks. Uh, people contact asking if everything is okay and so on and so on. Uh, not because they they only have good intention to do that. Uh, you, they don't have to do it, but they do it because they care. I do it myself. Uh, and that's a thing that I think is really awesome. Uh, There's lots of kind of people sending me stuff. I got razors, soaps. This razor is a gift. <coughs> oh, sorry, blades. I got it's a gift from people. Nothing that I have ever, ever asked people to send me. This. I get things sometimes sent to me as a snipe thing, soaps, and I don't know where it came from. As a girl and I, the Harry Wong thing, <laughs> suddenly I got a Kurgai, the red, uh, beautiful Chevette from Harry Wong. I don't know who Harry Wong is, but still there is people sending this. I think it's really fun, awesome. Uh, lots of fun with people. Very nerdy, of course. And all these things made me more and more interested to, to do things. I always want to construct things, as you know, and maybe seen. I do things and so on. And this is my hobby at the moment. So I go all, all in. I don't have so much much money, so I can buy new stuff every fucking week to show on my channel. All these things you see. It's already used sometimes and I don't care. I can use the same soap three times, change the straight race and so on. But still, <clears throat> people watching, it's not about the stuff you, just a moment. <clears throat> but you want to see all the new stuff. It's not, not for me. Just going to do a quick rinse. So, I think this community is awesome because they, they listen to people, people watching these videos I do and videos I watch other people to do and I hear things and I watch and would try to learn things and sometimes I just watch, don't comment, but often if someone uses a new thing a um, lot of things are hyped, of course. That's is it. It's what it is. <laughs> but you don't have to have these new things, these new soap bases and so on. Of course, I want to try them, but eventually I'm going to try them. But it doesn't mean I have to buy ten new soaps. If you can do it as if you want to do it, of course, it's up to you. It, it's yeah, I'm not telling you it's right or wrong because there is nothing right or wrong as long as it doesn't. Your economy allows it, do it and enjoy it, really enjoy it, because that's the reason. <coughs> yeah, so there is lots of things you can do in this shaving community. You don't have to have 70 different soaps and 
25 straight races and 10 DE races and so on. Use two DE races, use two straight races and two chivetas and buy five different soaps and use them. That's enough. It would work for a long time. I have been sent things to try out. I try sending things to people to try out because why not lend maybe not your most expensive things but maybe a straight race of someone or chevette or a d race of someone let them try and maybe you get contact with that person and that person going to be a, a real wet chair in there was one day and start to communicate with you i have a couple of my work colleagues that's starting to with straight race of shade and so on and one couple of my friends just because I talk about it and try to involve people and I'm so nervous I as you know do soaps brushes did a D razor <laughs> so but that's that's too much in my opinion but it's really fun it's other reasons I do it because I think it's really fun <laughs> So there is a lot of things that why I do this traditional straight razor shave, uh, um, the wet shaving thing because the sense we don't this maybe not the most most center but this was one of my first soaps I used and I thought this scent was nice and then I started to get other soaps and other scents and I thought wait a minute if this is much much better than these can things because these have a special scent. Uh, not much, but if this scent is 10 times better than these canned things, and this is one of the most poorest scents in, in the uh, wet shaving community or wet shaving soaps uh, around the world, then why go back to these fucking cans? <laughs> in my opinion, you don't have to have new D racers like this, you can have a vintage whatever use whatever you got but these scents these the thing you do with the brush and the soap and the ladder you get you can manipulate it and sometimes you want a big ladder sometimes you want just cover it and shave but you still got that scent and these aftershave splashes like this was the first splash i bought was this here i think i two or three of these was i emptied so there's a lot of things. It's going to be a long video, I know. I'm going to tag people there. So I do a probably just shoot the tag from the beginning, but I think I'm going to... Oh, sorry, I'm going to tag them now. I will note it. More in Barbarian, because you are one of the persons uh, in my wet shaving... Uh, not career, my wet shaving time that has helped me plenty, very much by selling my things in USA and I can't thank you enough so I want to see what you think about this what do you why do you why are you a traditional wet shaver and, and, and hear your story because that would be really interesting to see I have another person Gordon Christie from Scotland I want to hear your story too you don't talk so much when you do shaves I watched almost every shave you do um, and it uh, will be really fun to hear if I can understand what you say because you Scottish people look at you my your mileage may vary very sorry he's doing his videos and talking in, in, in and I don't even understand half of the words sometimes <laughs> she says something blah 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 and I don't care okay, something I rewind I listen to one but I can't hear it <laughs> he's from Scotland that person too so I have difficulties with the Scottish people. <laughs> the accent is of course not difficult with the person. So, so Gordon, please uh, give you a story why you are a, a traditional wet shaver. And another, Brian. Uh, why I choose Brian is because I don't think Brian has been doing this traditional wet shaver for so long. He, at least he hasn't been shaving, uh, doing YouTube videos for so long. So I don't think he's been so long in the, in the game. I mean, I, I've been doing four or five years, something like that, uh, with a um, straight razor shave. And 
three or four years with YouTube, three years, uh, so I don't remember, something like that. So I have been doing this for a while and I know more of doing this for a longer time than, than other people. But Brian, it would be interesting to see. I think you're already new to this switch, everything, and it would be fun to hear. I may be wrong, I don't know. 25 minutes and I'm still mumbling. So, more about Brian, uh, Gordon Christ and Brian for what you experience. If you could do this tag and give your story, it would be really, really nice. I hope you enjoyed my short story. Could talk about this for hours, but I don't have, you know, I have the time, but you can't listen to me for one hour mumbling about wet shaving. Or maybe, I don't. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. really nice beer thank you so much everybody uh, have a great week and we shall see you next time whatever it is bye bye so long bye bye